Hello, my wonderful and amazing listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. South is Reverend Reverend Father EGK Mbaka has shared his new vision about the sit at home. A priest named Reverend Father EGK Mbaka talked about something important during a George event. It gave a new way of thinking about a movement where people are staying at home in the southeast of Nigeria. EJK Camillus Anthony Mbaka, who is known as Father Mbaka, is a Catholic cleric, musician, and the founder of Adoration Ministries in Enugu State of Nigeria. He is noted for being one of the most prominent religious leaders in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Father IJK Mbaka was born in Amato, Itu, Amata Ituko in Agu local government area of Enugu State, where he grew up with his family who were Palmoine Tapas. He attended as the Vincent Secondary School Abogugu in Agu local government area of Enugu State for a secondary school. Mbaka attended State of Wisdom Seminary already. Imo State and St. Joseph Seminary equals a partner in Akwa Ibom State, where he, obtained, he was trained for priesthood. On the 29th of July 1995, he was ordained a priest of the Roman Catholic Church in order of Mekisedic. On the 31st of December 2014, Mbaka told a congregation that the then President Guloki Bilu Jonathan had failed to stem the tide of insecurity and corruption in the country and urged them to vote the administration out. Father E.J.K. Mbaka called for a change in administration in the tandem with his priestly prophetic ministry. Father E.J.K. Mbaka has been consistent in directing, advising and forewarning every administration in Nigeria since he was ordained a Roman Catholic priest. On the 28th of April 2021, Mbaka called on President Muhammadu Buhari to resign from office over the worsening insecurities in the country. In response to the Mbaka score, the Nigerian presidency released a statement through Gabashil that Father Mbaka is allegedly angry because President Mamadou Buhari ignored his request for contract after he asked for a contract as compensation for his support in 2015 and 2019. Today, Reverend Father Edi has talked about something important during a church event. He gave a new way of thinking about the movement where the people staying at home in the southeast of Nigeria. It started by saying that people in the southeast region tend to stay indoors a lot, and because of this, they have experienced a lot of harm and damage to, to their lives and homes. He mentioned that while asking for Mazi Onidun and the Kano to be set free, Reverend Father Iji Kembaka is wondering if all the bad things happening in the southeast will ever stop. He believes that one day the Southeast will become a peaceful and successful place. The killing and people the killings and people being scared to go out will end, and everyone who left will come back and make the area better. It will be a big surprise to see how much it improves. That is what the Catholic priest said on the video. The Southeast region of Nigeria is one of the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria representing both a geographic and political region of the country inland of the country's inland southeast. The southeast of Nigeria comprises of five states Abia, Anambra, Ebony, Onugu, and Imo State. The zone, although the South is 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 the smallest geopolitical zone, it contributes greatly to the Nigerian economy due to oil and natural gas reserves. The zone is bounded by River Nanja on the west the River Rhine Niger Delta on the south, the floods north central to the north, and the cross central on the east. It is divided between the cross Niger transition forest ecoregion in the south and the Guinea forest savanna, savanna mosaic in the drier north. Culturally, the vast majority of the zone falls within Igbo land, the indigenous cultural homeland of the Igbo people, a group which makes up the largest ethnic percentage in the southeastern population. The Southeast is predominantly Igbo ethnically and linguist, linguistically. 
Although the south east of this is the smallest geopolitical zone, it comprises greatly to the Nigerian economy due to due to oil and natural gas reserve along with a growing industrialized economy. The region has a population of about 36 million people and around 18% of the total population of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Aba and Nugu are the most popular cities in the southeast as well as the 10th and 14th most popular cities in Nigeria. Other large southern cities include, in order by population, Onicha, Umaya, Oweri, Inewe, Oka, and Abakaliki. The zone has 85, 85 local government areas with a total population of over 20 million people. The zone has about 10 large commercial cities. Apart from agriculture, which is a major economic activity, the zone is also known, also known as for known for commercial and trading activities with small and medium indigenous industry that are manufacturing goods and services. The main agricultural products in the zone are yam, cassava, rice, and cocoa yam. The zone has solid materials and natural resources such as crude oil, natural gas, bauxite, iron ore, sandstone, lignite, clay, coal, tin, and columbite. The zone has recently been plagued by crisis as the call for secession and the creation of the state of the independent people of Biafra IPOB by the leader of the movement in person of Mazi Oindu Namdekano. Namdekano has recently declared Biafra, with, but some leaders have said that it does not have the right and does not represent the voice of the people of the Igbo nation and that it lacks the capacity to do so. The indigenous people of Biafra have recently introduced the sit at home order in the zone to press on their demands as well as in solidarity for their leader, Mazi Oindunam de Kano, who has been detained by the Nigerian government under the Department of State Services, DSS. The southeast of Nigeria, we came about the Alex Akuma recommendation, although it's formerly known as Eastern Nigeria, or simply East, following the division of the country into three parts in 1950s. In 1967, it was later split into three under the Gowon administration from 1967 to 1975. It was in 1976 the most states, like including Imo State and Anambra State, began to emerge. Southeast is occupied mainly by the Igbos. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. Bye for now.